Hello, my YouTube friend. Oh my gosh. Today I have a massive haul. It's like, I don't know, 15 boxes. It's probably one of my largest hauls I've done in a while. But I want to get through all the packages I had sitting around and all the hauls I had sitting around so that I could catch up to it and start focusing on buying new collections. Okay, so I guess we will just start digging into it. Okay, first we have a Michi Cosfan X. I bought this on Macari. I think this whole set is really cute and I want to finish putting it together. I think this is, uh, I think I need one or two more to complete the set. So I'm actually really happy to get her. There's this few sets I kind of want to finish. So I'm going to go through all my collection and try to figure out which ones those are. But I'm really happy to get that. The last month or so, I've been trying to put my whole collection into the pop price guide with the location of the box that each pop is in, in the description that you can put in. That way, it will be a lot faster for me to process hauls, pull out my duplicates, and hopefully make more videos for you guys. And I haven't asked you guys for likes the last few videos. If you like my videos and you want to motivate me to do more videos, give this video a like. I would like to aim for a thousand likes on this video. Okay, what's next? Okay, I got a surprise mystery box from my patron Diana. She uh, heard me say that my birthday was June 23rd a few weeks ago. So she sent me something, that, just a mystery, as a thank you for doing videos. I'm really excited to open this. I have no idea what's inside. I love a good mystery. All right, I don't have table space yet to put this down, so I gotta kind of hold it while I dig through it. Okay, so there's some protecting on the top. Don't want, I kind of don't want to see what's in the box. Just want to pull it out and be kind of surprised. All right, so there's a lot of packaging around here. Okay. Oh, that's kind of hard to do. <laughs> It's something wrapped. Okay, so it's wrapped in paper. I could take this box out. Okay, let's see what we got. Very well packaged. <laughs> I can't find it. I feel like there's something in here. Okay, she got me a Kari, one of the Asian myth ones. Okay, I know I had the golden one. I don't know which one this is. Oh, this is cool. It's the silver one. Oh, neat. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really excited to get that. I really want to get more Hikaris in my collection. So uh, this this awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sweet. Okay, <laughs> so far that's exciting. Okay, I have a Funko Shop order from December, I think. <laughs> I still have a little bit backed up from when I was sick, so I have no idea what's in here. Okay, lots of packing material. Just a few things. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, don't even know what this is. Try not to read the box because sometimes on the box they'll write what's in it. So I kind of want it to be a surprise. I'm sure it's something I really like though. Uh, oh, okay, cool. These are the three ice cream guys. I forgot about these. Oh wow, I didn't even know I ordered them. Okay, so we have Mr. Sprinkles. He looks so cool. Oh, I really love that. I love the spastic plastic line. So, awesome. Super happy to have that in my collection. Okay, let's see what we got. We got Mr. Sprinkles again. So I guess they're just colorway variants. That is really cool looking. I don't even remember seeing this one. My brain is foggy. <laughs> I don't remember this stuff. Awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, this video has been really fun so far. <laughs> okay, and then we have the chocolate colored one. Oh, this one is awesome. Love that. Okay, cool. I was not expecting that. I did not know I ordered it. Okay, I got another box out of there that's a double set, I guess. Don't remember what this is. Now, I'm assuming a lot of times with the Funko Shop, I just don't order stuff every week. I do miss out on some stuff, like I missed out on Medusa, and I'm really bummed out about that because that's one I really want. I love mythical creatures. But a lot of times they'll have stuff on sale, so I'll get it for a lot cheaper. So I feel overall I save more money just by holding out. I miss out on some that go up in value, but if I'm patient, I'll eventually get them. Okay, the Freddy Funko Show. Oh, I think this is a uh, vinyl set. 
Oh, cool. I think this is one of the last vinyl sets they made. Although I don't know if this is actually technically vinyl. This is, it's the Huckleberry Hound and a Freddy Funko. I think it's a vinyl set, but the bodies aren't like, usually the vinyl figure is kind of like a square body. So I'm not sure. I do really love this though. And it's limited to 3000 pieces. That's cool. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. I guess he looks kind of like one of the Freddy vinyl figures. So it's maybe one of him with Huckleberry Hound. I actually would like to see them do more figures like that. I didn't really remember making this order, so this is exciting. I'm, there's a bunch of stuff here that I just don't remember, or I, you know, I thought I missed out on it. Okay, we got what, five more boxes from that box. This is oh, this looks like a Freddy Funko figure. Oh, sweet! I thought I missed out on this one. So it's the one where he has the Japanese shirt on. He's eating a bowl of cereal. Ah, that one is cool. Really love that one. Okay, sweet. So I think the double set. Okay, I gotta pick, compare. I kind of feel like this goes more with this set than with the vinyl figures. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, I'm having fun here. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't remember this one either. So we have the Funhouse Pennywise, where he's like drooling and everything. That one looks really cool. I feel like some of these might still be available on the Punko Shop, but I'm assuming some of this stuff was sold out. So I'm actually really happy to get that. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I love when I get ordered like that and there's all kinds of stuff in here that I did not realize I had ordered. I thought I had missed out on. So this is actually pretty awesome. And like I was saying, I probably bought these when they were on sale. So I probably got them all like 20% off or something like that. Okay, we have another Freddy Funko figure. This one's cool. It's a superhero one and it's in the same box color as the one with Huckleberry Hound. So I'm assuming that's also part of the set. Awesome. I love these Freddy vinyl figures. I want them to do more. I would like to see them do more licensed ones, actual superheroes and different movie characters. I almost like these more, or, you know, I think I do like these more than Pops. I would like to see this line expanded. This is awesome. So the ad icon, which ad icon is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Captain Cupcake. He is really cool. I love the way he looks. That is sweet. All right, I'm happy I got that. Okay, last one. Ah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I ordered these because it was 20% off, so I bought all the things I was missing that I wanted. So instead of $15, I paid like $12 a piece. I'm actually really happy with that. So we have the Monkey Assassin from the Spastic Plastic line. Very cool. Love this line. This is one of my favorite lines. Now, a lot of the values of these have gone down. So I, I like having them just because they're really cool sculpts and cool looking figures, but they don't become as popular as some of the other stuff because they don't have the nostalgia connection to them. They're not like ad icons where you have that food sense, that food taste nostalgia to it. They're not like, you know, for movies or your favorite cartoons. So I think the demand on these is kind of low. I personally think they're really cool though. I just love them for their design, the way they look. Very cool. Okay, wow, that was fun. Uh, okay, I think... I guess we have another Funko Shop order. This again was probably around that same time. Uh, the date is kind of cut off, so I don't know when I ordered this. I'm assuming around December. It could be older, it could be newer. I haven't really ordered much in the last six months, so I just it's actually kind of fun to have things that have been sitting around so I can kind of make videos without ordering stuff. You know, because I just with the shop closed, I don't have as much money to spend. But oh we are we're opening up Saturdays now through July. So if you want to visit my shop, it'll be from noon to six on Saturdays. We're just, we're going slow until we kind of feel the traffic flow. And once the store picks up to enough that's worth opening more than that, we will. But we opened up this past Saturday and it was pretty dead. Don't go shop. Oh, it looks like a 10 inch pop. Okay. I don't remember what 10 inch I still needed or haven't opened yet. Oh, this is... Oh, Tony the Tiger, did I? I think I just had Tony the Tiger in a video like a month ago that someone traded to me. So maybe I have a duplicate of this one. All right, he is cool. Okay, so we have a 10 inch Tony the Tiger. I do believe he's a duplicate though, so I will be selling this one. But I love it, he is awesome. So I must have ordered him and then someone traded him in after I had ordered him. Okay, cool. Okay, I think a lot of the stuff that's left is stuff that was actually traded in. There might be a couple more commercial orders, but first, you guys always love when I do it. So I have a Threads by Zavi subscription box. 
These boxes get sent to me for free to review. I, uh, I think they're a pretty awesome deal. You get a t-shirt and a graphic novel. The t-shirt's a nerdy style t-shirt and uh, they're relatively cheap. I think it's $10 if you get a multi-month subscription and $12.99 if you order one box. I think it's a great deal. I have fun with these every month. I know you guys enjoy when I do them and I, ha I still have probably like six months backed up. <laughs> I think this is actually the newest one because this one just came a few days ago and I just like, I thought I had just gotten one. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, 2001. Oh, that is cool. Oh. Okay. I love 2001. I'm a big Stanley Kubrick fan. So that is a really neat shirt. That's definitely a shirt that I will wear. I'll wear this shirt. Okay, very cool. And I like darker shirts just because lighter shirts, it's harder to keep the color. They, you know, they'll get gray if you don't separate them and all that. So, okay, let's put this one on. All right, I'm excited. Here we go. All right. Ooh, it feels comfortable. It's a very nice shirt. I like it. I like the design. It's simple, but it's awesome. It's 2001. I love it. This is definitely worth $10. Awesome. All right, let's see what the book is. Right, what do we got? Uh, okay, we have Brightest Day Part 2. I think I got Part 1 in a previous box. I have to double check. That is really cool. I mean, a book like this would be like 20 bucks. So definitely a good deal. The book and the shirt, I would buy this all day long. Awesome. Very happy with that. Okay. This box is Mark Jovan, so I must have traded him, oh, probably anywhere between November and January. I don't remember. It's been months. So I don't remember what he traded in. It might be stuff I'm really excited for myself. It might be stuff for the store. I am not sure. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we have the Common White Walker. I don't think this has value above the common price. I I think I do have that one though. He's cool though. I do like him. Okay, we have. Uh, oh, this is cool. I don't have this one. So it's a failed Fusion Dragon Ball Z box lunch exclusive set. So this one I don't have. So this one will go into my collection. This is actually very cool. Forgot about that one. All right, cool. I'm forgetting about most of the stuff in this video. So this is all fun and new to me. Okay, we have the common Vegeta. This one I think came out last year. Yeah, 2019. So this one I do have. That one will be for sale. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, some more bigger ones, smaller ones. All right, what do we got? Oh, okay. So we have the Funko Shop exclusive werewolf from Scooby-Doo. I forgot he traded this one in. This is one I really wanted, I missed out on. So this one's going to my collection. I'm actually really excited to get that. Awesome. Okay, I, I remember now he had some nice stuff. Oh, this is cool too. Although I think I have this one. So we have the Marvel Collector Core Valkyrie from Avengers Endgame. I believe I actually have this box. So this one is a duplicate. I'll be selling that one. Pretty awesome though. She is cool. Uh, okay, we have the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Loot Llama from Fortnite. This one I do have already. So that one will be for sale. I do really love this one though. That one is cool. Yeah, we got bigger pop, bigger set. What is this? Okay, we got Broly. Is this the chase? No, it's the common Broly. Uh, I believe I do have this one already. So this one will be for sale. This was the one everyone was after when it came out. But I ended up getting, I think, one chase and one common. So duplicate. That will be for sale. I'm sure someone will be very happy to pick that up, which is good. I like having some stuff I can sell. Okay, what do we have here? We have the Future Trunks. I believe this came in the little Hot Topic box. It was like a, I guess it was a Dragon Ball Z box. You can either get this version or the Chase. So I do have this one already. This one will be for sale. Okay, what do we have? Okay, we have uh, Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. I believe I have this one, so that one will be for sale. I'm really bad at the names. I know you're going to make fun of me, but that's just my way my brain works. Okay, we have a Surfer Freddy. This one I definitely have. This is from last year's Box of Fun. So I'm sure someone will want that one. This one is cool. Okay, we have <laughs> my favorite color, Piss Colored Hulk. <laughs> I feel like I get repetitive. I keep getting pops in this color. Oh, I should just start signing those and have those as the pops I send to people. Maybe I'll do a contest one day. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones. I think I have this one. I'm going to have to double check this one. I know there's a couple from this wave that I'm missing. So uh, I'm going to have to just see what I have. But she's cool. And Okay, so that's everything in that box. Not a ton of stuff, but a couple really nice expensive ones. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a Walgreens box. Okay, I do have some more commercial boxes. 
I'm guessing this is an order I placed around Christmas time, December. But I think it's a lot of Spider-Man stuff. And it looks like I ordered duplicates. I don't know why I ordered it. You know what? I think these were on sale. And I got a few extra ones for the people I know that like Spider-Man stuff. Okay, so we have the Future Foundation Spider-Man. Walgreens exclusive. I'm pretty sure these were on sale. That's why I bought a bunch. Okay, we have Octo Spidey, Walgreens exclusive. And I think I have most of these because I think a full set was traded in to me as well. So these will all be for sale. Although I'm going to contact my Spider-Man fans first just to see if they want them. Okay, we have the Bombastic Bagman Spider-Man. Another Walgreens exclusive. Very cool pop. We have a Herman Munster. Love this pop. This one, I don't remember if I actually got this one yet. I might need that one. We have another Herman Munster, so that was a duplicate. I don't know why I bought so many duplicates. It must have been on sale. You know what it was? I think they were on sale for like $5, super cheap. And then you had to get the $30 for free shipping. And I didn't want to pay shipping, so I just ordered duplicates. I figured I'd get the free shipping. And then just sell them to the people I know for a good price. And if not, I'll just stick them in my store. Uh, okay, we have another Future Foundation Spider-Man. And finally, what is this? Oh... Oh, you know what? I must have put a GameStop order in here as well because I put the Batman Catwoman moment. I love this one. This one is cool. I think I accidentally ordered this one twice though because I have this one already. Very awesome pop. I love that one. Okay, that was a weird box. <laughs> I don't know why I got so many duplicates. Normally, I don't order duplicates when I order retail stuff. Okay, I have a box from Amazon. This, oh, this is the Spider-Man Collector Core box. Okay, cool. So I probably ordered this around December as well. I think this had one of my favorite pops from last year. That's why I ordered it. I was trying to do like my top 20 pops and I was trying to order all the stuff I didn't get. Okay, so we have a school bag. It's like a cheapo backpack. We had, oh yeah, you know what it was? It was the Light Up Mysterio. I really wanted this one. I thought this was one of my favorite pops from last year. He is neat. I love these light up ones. I think they're just the coolest things. Well, how many are there now? Like five or six light up ones? All right, I love that. That is really cool. And then we have a little Spider-Man hacky sack. That is neat. A spider symbol sticker or decal. And then the borrowed jersey Spider-Man. So, I mean, this one's cool because it's a fun moment in the movie, but not really like overall a cool pop. So I definitely bought this for the Mysterio. All right, I think I have another commercial box up here. All right. Uh, I'm guessing this is GameStop. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, this is GameStop. Okay. This is more of those t-shirts when they had the $10 t-shirts. I'm a sucker for these $10 t-shirt sets. I think these things are the coolest. I mean, the pop alone is worth the $10. You get the t-shirt for free pretty much when they put them on sale for that price. The outer box is a little bit beat up, but that's okay. I'm paying $10. So we have a Mega Man t-shirt, which is cool. I don't really wear the ones from these sets because I like to keep them complete. But we have the Napalm Bomb Mega Man. Very cool. I think I have all the other Mega Man pops, so it's nice to have the set together. Okay, and then we have the Sonic the Hedgehog box. This one's cool. I think I actually have the pop itself, but I didn't have it with the shirt, so I wanted to get it again. For $10, why not? The pop's really awesome. He's a metallic Sonic the Hedgehog, so he's one of my favorite Sonic pops. I like that the box is kind of like a video game, or the shape of it. It's supposed to kind of look like an old school video game, arcade game. Yeah, so we have another. I actually have this shirt. <laughs> That's funny. I actually have this shirt. Someone must have traded me the shirt and the pop without the outer box. Because I have the pop and I have the shirt and I wear the shirt. So this is cool. I'll have this for my collection as a complete box. Yeah, he is such a neat pop. I love the metallic look of him. Amazing. And finally from that box, we have the Deluxe Superman, the Jim Lee version. I love these Deluxe Jim Lee pops. I just think they're so cool looking. They never really caught on though because the retail is just too high. People, the thing with pops, the reason why people get into pops is because they're $10, so cheap. So when they start doing these like expensive $20, $30 ones, it just, 
it doesn't become an impulse buy anymore and so people kind of lose interest and the only time they'll pay more you know the reason why pops go up in value is not because it's a amazing thing but it's because it's rare or it goes out of print and people just can't get it so normally they'll pay ten dollars but someone says you're not allowed to have this pop anymore or it's hard to get this pop then they're willing to pay thirty dollars but when you come out with a pop that's 30 bucks with a shirt like this a lot of people are just like, eh, I don't really want to pay $30. So actually with GameStop selling them for $10 after a few weeks, it happens all the time. So we have the Superman shirt. So I think people undervalue these, but I think in the long run, these will have value just because they're so cool. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I love it. I don't, I think this is, I don't know if I have all of them, but I definitely didn't have this one. So I'm actually really happy to get that. Awesome. Okay, we have another little box here. This box says Tolly. Okay. I didn't realize I had more stuff from Tolly. This, so this is stuff he traded to me in November, December, January. Somewhere in that time frame. All right. This is cool. So this is probably going to be more vaulted or interesting things again. He always trades me very interesting things. Okay. So we have a Street Fighter hat. This must have come from the Street Fighter box. I still have to get the rest of the parts from this box. I think I'm missing the Chun-Li. The, the pink rock candy. I'll have to look into it. But that's cool. Okay, we have a little Batman vinyl figure. This is actually kind of cute. I'm not very familiar with these. These must be older. 2014, so a little bit older. I like it though. Very cool. I don't have that one, so I'm keeping that. Okay, this is cool. We have Jay from the Descendants. Definitely a Vaulted Pop. You don't see this one ever. I don't think there's a lot of demand for them either. You know, the Descendants is for like a little kid. And Pops aren't necessarily a little kid toy. So I think a lot of this stuff that's aimed for little kids in the long run will probably have value just because I don't think they make a ton of it. You know, these, they probably made like 5,000 or less. But you have to wait till the kids that grew up with it to be old enough to want to buy it for nostalgia. Ah, okay, we have Admiral Akbar. Uh, I think this one has some value. I have to double check. I'm not sure if I have this one. I might have them already, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, oh, okay, cool. We have the Robot Girl from Invader Zim. Another Vaulted Pop. This one I do have. So this one will be for sale. Although, you know what? I think this is a box error. Now that I'm looking at him, like on the back, it looks like the print's pushed over. And then here he looks like... So this actually might go into my error collection. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm actually really excited for that. Oh, awesome. Not as crazy of an error as some of the other ones I got, but definitely an error. Awesome. Okay, and then we have a little flash pad that must have come in one of the Legion Collector's boxes. And oh, and then we have a Megazord. Oh, this is cool. So we have the Bull Megazord. Ah, uh, you know, I was in my 20s. Well, not I was like 18 to 20 when Power Rangers first became really popular. So it's not really something I connect with well. But I do love big robots and Japanese robots. So I do kind of collect these a little bit. So I might actually keep that. He is neat. Okay. Oh, and then we have one deluxe PS3 game. So we have a Dead or Alive 5. But it's the... Uh, I think it's the Japanese deluxe version. So that's kind of cool. I'll put that into my video game collection. I like kind of these oddball weird collector editions. So I thought that was kind of neat. Okay, sweet. I wonder if there's anything else from him. Like I said, this is all kind of the leftover stuff that I traded for in like the end of November, into December, into January. So it's kind of like the stragglers of things. So it's, uh, it's kind of nice to get through it and kind of clear up space and figure out what I'm going to sell. Okay, let's see what we got here. This box is not marked. So, okay, this is from multiple people, I think. Okay, so this one I bought on Macari. You have the giant lady in silver. I think she's really cool looking. I love these Asian myth pops. I kind of want to put a whole set together. And these are pretty rare. I think they only make like 600 of most of these. So I think this was like 22 to 25, somewhere around there. Really happy to have that. I think getting a limited six inch pop for that price great price awesome uh okay then i have let's see this says it's ryan so i must have traded with ryan okay oh okay this is cool okay we have the funko shop exclusive wednesday adams from the adams family i don't think i had that one yet i actually want to finish playing this set together so i'm actually really happy to get that very cool okay so there might be more interesting stuff in this box uh except we have captain casting andor from star wars rogue one this one is kind of you know, everyone who wants it has it already. It's not really worth anything. Cool, though. I mean, he was a cool character. I like the movie. I just, it was a one-shot, so you're not going to see him again. <laughs> see, we, oh, we have the orange gill. Okay, he is neat. I do really love this line. 
all these exclusive, you know, Funko characters. Uh, the value is not there, though. I think it sells for less than its original retail. But I'm sure someone will want him because he is neat. I love that one. Uh, okay, we have Baze Malbus from Star Wars Rogue One. This one I have as well. Not too excited for those. Some of the Star Wars stuff, they're just it's not really worth that much. And it's not really... It's easy to get, so it's not that exciting. Ah, uh, okay, with the Aquaman from the DC Legion Collector's Box. I absolutely love this pop. This is the one where he's got the water base. It's like splashing up around him. One of the coolest pops from this year. So I do have this one, but I'm sure someone will want that one. I think he's amazing. Okay, next we have Scott Howard, the common version. I don't know if I have the common. I know I have the con version, so I might actually need that one. Very cool. Okay, next we have, we have Flacky. Flaky, Flacky. He's the Funko Shop exclusive snowman. I don't know if he's plastic, plastic, but he's definitely a Funko exclusive or a Funko created character. Very cool. I think I know someone who wants that one though, so that one will be for them. Next we have, we have Bulma from Dragon Ball Z. She's very cute. This one, I think I have already else. So that one will be for sale. Running out of space. Uh, okay, next we have a teal chrome Batman. I absolutely love this one. Out of the chromes, in general, I think chromes are overdone. But I love the Batman chrome. Especially this pop because the sculpt is so like iconic and so awesome looking. That it looks really good in chrome. So I do have this one already. He'll be for sale. But I'm sure someone will want him right away. Awesome pop. Uh, okay, next we have the 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive previews Black Bolt and Lockjaw. Love the set. Yeah, Lockjaw is like transporting. So he's half translucent. I love this set. I think I have this one already. Although I don't remember if I have that specific sticker. So I actually might be keeping that one. This one I have to double check. Uh, okay, we have prints. I don't remember if I have this one. I might actually need this one to complete my print set. This one I have to double check. Very cool pop though. Uh, okay, this was a Makari order. So it's the purple and orange Hanuman from the legendary Creatures of Myths. Absolutely love this pop. I really wanted this one. In the picture, he was perfect. When he arrived, he had the paint smears. So I feel like they did a swap where they listed a bunch and they sent this one to me. So I was very disappointed. I contacted Makari to return it because I was going to return it. So Makari just refunded me 100%. So I basically got him for free. So I might try to paint the nose or something, try to fix it a little bit. Not sure. I might just buy him again. But uh, I, you know, I was really disappointed. But the box is in good shape. So maybe I'll try to find a loose one. I'm not sure. Again, though, this line is pretty limited. I don't think they make a ton of them. Maybe a few thousand at most. And so I don't know how easy it will be for me to get them again for a cheap price. But for now, you know, he's a filler. He'll fill in my collection until I can get a better one. And I can clean the window a little bit so it doesn't look as bad. I just wish, you know, his nose wasn't messed up. Mm. It's one of those times where I'm disappointed, but I got him for free at this point. So it's not that bad, I guess. Okay, we have another Makari order. I just ordered this recently. We have the Wreck-It Ralph Penelope Dorbs Ride. I absolutely love this one. This is the one I've wanted since it came out. The price has been pretty cheap. I think I got it for like 25 ish Very happy with that price. For a while there, it was up to like 50 to 60 So awesome, awesome Dorbs Ride. I think she's so cool looking. I love the Dorbs Rides. I think they're my favorite Dorbs. And I want to finish putting together a set of all the ones. I have most of them, but I'm probably missing a few of the really rare ones. So I'm actually really happy with that. Awesome. Okay, back to the trade. So I missed the mix up. Some of the stuff was from Ryan. Some of the stuff was from other people. Uh, I just don't remember. I just, you know, you run out of space, so you kind of mix stuff together. We have Maz Quintana from Star Wars. This one I'm pretty sure I have already, so she'll be for sale. We got one in a box. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is another Makari order. We have Mirai from the Cos Fan X. So this is the second one in this video. So I already had Momo. I still need Yumi and Chayo, but I just ordered Yumi, so I'll have her pretty soon. So I just need Chayo to complete the set. I really love this set. I think they're so cute. Okay, very happy with that. So as you can see, I've been ordering a little bit from Makari lately. Uh, okay, we have a Jin Urso from Star Wars Rogue One. This one I'm pretty sure I have already, so that one will be for sale. And then we have Lady Liberty from The Purge. I don't have that one, so that one's going into my collection. I think this is the first one from The Purge, so that's actually pretty cool. I'll have to track down more of them. <laughs> a lot of the newer stuff I just don't have yet, but I figure as I buy collections, I'll end up getting it. We have our previews exclusive Dark Knight Returns Batman. Very cool pop. I do have this one already though. So he'll be for sale, but I'm sure someone will want that one. Love this pop. Very cool pop. Okay, next we have 
Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. This one I do have as well. So he'll be for sale. Dragon Ball Z stuff always sells though. Okay, so that's everything in that box. Okay, so this is another random box from a bunch of people. Ah, uh, I forget who is from what. Don't see any notes. So if you traded this stuff into me, just let me know. <laughs> okay, we have a New York Comic Con exclusive Daria. Very cool pop. I do have her though, so she'll be for sale. I'm sure someone will pick her out. Although she looks a little bit paler than I remember. So she might be a color variant. I'm going to have to look into that one. I do have her with both stickers though. So I'm going to compare to what I have already. Uh, okay, we have H from Ready Player One. All right, very cool. I don't have this one yet. So this one's going to my collection. It's one of the last few I need to complete the set. I do want to complete that set. Uh, okay, we have some pops and boxes. Let's see. Oh, okay, this is cool. We have the Chubacabra. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. Someone must have traded him in just right after he came out. And I think the value has jumped since I got this. I believe I have him. So I think this one's going to be for sale. Awesome. I like when I have a little bit more valuable pops to sell for my shop. Uh, okay, we have one of the Black Friday boxes in here. Oh, okay, cool. It's the Chase Miles Morales. I forgot I got this. Oh, neat. Okay, I have a feeling this is going up, but Miles Morales is really hot right now. All his comic books are jumping in value. So I think if the pops haven't started going up in value, they're going to start going up in value. Definitely happy I have that one. Okay, and then we have the Chase Keychain. Very awesome. And then we have the gray Deadpool Pez. That is cool. Oh, and then we have Miles Morales pin and a sticker. Okay, this is a really good box. When I traded for it, it probably wasn't worth that much. I have a feeling the values must be going up. And if they're not yet, I think they will. Just how hot Miles Morales is right now with the video game coming out and the sequel to the movie. And then if they bring him into the MCU, he'll, be, he'll just be on fire. Love Miles Morales. I have... 20 of his first appearance in comics. I was buying them years ago for a buck a piece whenever I found them. <laughs> now there was a lot more. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we have the Sarah Connor Chase. I don't remember trading for this. Awesome. <laughs> from uh, Terminator Dark Fate. I don't think I have any pops from this set yet, so I'm actually really happy to get this. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. A lot of these trades I just don't remember because, you know, so much has happened in life the last six months. Uh, okay, we have another Black Friday box. Oh no, this is the box that came out the month before the Black Friday box. So it's the Batman Gamer box. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is cool. We got the Batman Chase. Okay, sweet. So we have the Batman Gamer Chase. Actually, I think I just have the comments. So I'm actually really happy to get that. We have the Batman Gamer Chase keychain. Okay, that is very cool. The Batman sticker, the Batman button, and the Batman Pez. These boxes are really good compared to previous years where they throw in like a bunch of crap or like not as interesting stuff. I actually think these are really nice boxes. They must have overproduced them though because the prices are just, they kind of died on these things. Very happy to have that though. Ah, oh, okay. There's some random stuff in here. We have uh, Riku from Kingdom Hearts. I think I had that one already though, so that one will be for sale. And then we have... The, ooh, in, oh, this is from Jason. Okay, I have a note. Jason Jason traded in some of the stuff. I don't know how much of it he traded in, but probably a bunch of it. So you have Angus Young from ACDC. Very cool. I don't think I have that one yet. Happy to get that. I love the Pop Rocks line. We have Grim Jow from Bleach. I think this one has gone up in value, so that's actually really cool. That high-value anime stuff is really easy to sell. We have Alex DeLarge from Clockwork Orange. This one always sells when I get it. It's a really good pop. I do have that one already, though. So I'll be selling them. And then we, uh, what do we have? Okay, we have Conan O'Brien, Conan Wild Borders. I don't have this one yet. This one's going to my collection. Okay, what do we have? We have the Donald Monsters Inc. version from Kingdom's Heart 3. This one I do have already, so I'll be for sale. And then we have the Hot Top exclusive without helmet Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home. Very cool pop. I think I have that one already. Uh, a couple more in this box. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, this one says it's from Timothy. Okay, so some of these Timothy traded for me. Okay, I'm so confused. <laughs> this box is like all the stuff. I think Timothy actually traded it in when I was sick. So that's why I probably forgot half this stuff. So Timothy, thank you for trading. Jason, thank you for trading. So you have Vanitas from Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, I don't remember if I got this one. This is a really cool looking pop. I think I might have needed this one. I have to double check. 
And then we have the Watto 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive from Star Wars. This one I definitely have. I think I actually just got this a video two ago. So that one will be for sale. And uh, oh, we had a loose turtle figure. I'm not even sure where that came from. Or even it has a price on the back. So it probably got thrown in the box by mistake. I'll probably have to put it back in my store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happens. Happens when there's chaos and you're feeling sick and you can't keep up with everything. And then this was, I think I actually got this in a previous video. I sold all the keychains from this box in my shop. They sold well. But I kept the box afterwards because it has the two little figures inside. And I don't know if those ones are actual keychains. I think they're just mini figures. Not 100% sure, but I thought the box was really cool. Worth keeping. Okay, so that's everything from that box. Okay, the last four boxes. We have one big box and three of these six count boxes. These were traded to me by Pop Rose TV. They have their own YouTube channel. And I uh, I think it's all Stranger Things pops. Which Stranger Things is a little bit low in value at the moment. I think the values come down a little bit. But I know the values will jump back up when the new season comes out. Which I don't know if it's going to come out this year. It might be pushed back to next year. Not 100% sure. Uh, I'm just going to sell them now if I can get whatever I can out of them. Just because I want to sell them, make my money, and keep buying collections. But I don't mind getting a lot of them because I love Stranger Things and they always sell. And if I'm lucky, there's one or two I need, but I think I have like 90 Stranger Things pops. Somewhere between 60 and 90, so I don't think there's very much I need left except for the really rare ones. Okay, let's start digging through. Okay, first we have Mike, the common. I think a couple of these original commons are actually now valuable. For a while there, they would sell for like $8, $10 maybe. I think a couple of these are up to 20 now. So that's actually good. Some of them actually have gone up in value. We have the Upside Down Wheel. This one always sells, very popular. We had the 11 box lunch exclusive, the one where she's kind of like the, the punk, very cool pop. We have the original Dustin. I don't think this one has gone up in value yet. I'll have to double check that. And then we have the Lucas. This one may not have gone up in value yet either. Uh, okay, we have Joyce and Biohazard suit. It's a Target exclusive, love this one. This one's really cool. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the six inch Demogorgon. Love this pop. Very awesome pop. I do have that one. I think I have all of these, honestly. I love Stranger Things and I love buying Stranger Things sets. Okay, we have 11 with Electros, 2017 New York Comic Con exclusive. She is cool. Love that one. Okay, next we have the Billy and Karen double set from the 2018 San Diego Comic Con. I'm pretty sure I have this set. So that set will be for sale. Pretty sure all these will be for sale. Cool set. Uh, okay, we have Max in her Halloween costume. Absolutely love this one. It's like a double collectible because she's in a Michael Myers suit. Love that one. Awesome. I do have that one. Uh, oh, okay. We have one of the figures. I don't have this actually. So it's the Demogorgon. It's not really a reaction figure, just a figure. He is cool. And this says it's the Chase version of him. That one's going into my collection. Okay, sweet. I forgot that was in there. Uh, okay, we have the 2017 ECC Comic Con exclusive Upside Down 11 and Barb. Pretty sure I have that one already. Cool set though. Okay, we have the Ghostbusters Dustin. Pretty sure I have that one already. We have, uh, oh, okay. So we have some non-Stranger Things. We have Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z. Pretty sure I have that one already. Okay, next we have, oh, this is cool. We have the entertainment exclusive Deku from My Hero Academia. It's the Go in the Dark version. I don't remember if I actually have that version. That I'm gonna have to double check. Love My Hero Academia. Okay, next we have the Hot Topic Exclusive Superman. I think I have this one, but I'm going to double check. Okay, so there's a little bit more than Stranger Things. I thought it was all Stranger Things. I kind of forgot. Uh, okay, we have Hopper with Vines. That one I have. Uh, all right, next we have Joyce. Original Joyce, that one I have. So obviously, if you like Stranger Things, I'm going to have a lot for sale. Uh, original Will. I think Original Will might have gone up in value. Very cool. Okay, next we have Ghostbusters Mike. That one I have as well. Pretty sure I have all the Stranger Things stuff. Except for the figure. Uh, okay, we have uh, Dragon Ball Z Vegeta. This one I do have. Uh, next we have Billy. That one I have as well. Uh, and then we have... Oh, this is cool. The Target exclusive Black Panther. I do have this one already, but it's based on his original appearance in the comics. I love this pop. Someone's definitely going to want that. And, okay, we have the Hot Topic Girl. I think my box is actually damaged, so this will be a box upgrade. I'm actually really happy about that. Awesome. And then we have the Ghostbusters Lucas. Definitely have that one already. 
and uh, the Ghostbusters will have that one as well. And finally, in this box, we have the Brenner. Pretty sure I have that as well. Okay, very cool. Okay, now we have three of the smaller boxes. I think one of the boxes is just half full. So almost done. A lot of stuff to go through today. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Okay, we have Bob and Scrubs. Definitely have that one. Miss Bob. Bob was a cool character. Uh, okay, we have Steve with sunglasses. Definitely have that one as well. Okay, that's everything from that box. All right, let's go through this box. Yeah, more Stranger Things. A lot of Stranger Things. <laughs> Go well stock of Stranger Things. Okay, we have 11 with Ego's Chase. This one always sells every time I get it. So, very cool pop. Sold a ton of those over the years. Uh, okay, we have the Barnes & Noble exclusive Dustin where he has the reddish tan color jacket. Very cool. Do have that one. Okay, we have the Dustin and Dart Hot Topic exclusive. Very cool pop. Do have that one already. Then we have Dart. Have that one as well. We have the, oh, the Baskin Robbins, Steve. This one's popular. It sells every time I get it. Do have that one already. And then finally, this is one of my favorite ones. We have the Vampire Bob from GameStop. Very cool pop. I do have that one already, though, so that one will be for sale. Okay, one more box. Woo, I'm exhausted. <laughs> more Stranger Things. Okay, we have the Dustin Snowball Dance version, 2018 San Diego Comic-Con. I love this pop. This one I have already. Okay, next we have Steve and Bandana, Hot Top exclusive. That one I have as well. And we have the Dustin and Hockey Gear, Hot Top exclusive. That one I have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have pretty much the whole set except for the really rare ones. Uh, okay, we have Steve and Bandana. So I guess he had a couple of these. I don't know why he had a few. So duplicate. I don't see any difference between them. They're not like any weird errors or anything. So I'll probably have a couple of those for sale. Uh, okay, <laughs> we have Dustin in Hockey Gear, so we have a couple of these as well. That is weird that he was buying two of each. I guess maybe he thought he was going to trade. Some people do that. They'll buy a couple of exclusives. think they're going to trade, and then they end up just getting stuck with them. Because not every exclusive goes up in value. Uh, okay, and then we have Hopper Chase. This is the one where he doesn't have his hat on. This one, I'm pretty sure I have as well. Okay, very cool. I'm actually really excited to get that set because I was completely sold out of Stranger Things props. Might have had like one, if that. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel and maybe get a mystery box, click the link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you enjoy this mega epic Funko Pop why don't you click the robot's face to subscribe? Why not? I'll make more videos like this just for you. And I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!